In this tutorial, we will be talking about data warehousing. As we discussed, the data preparation phase consists of two major steps, ETL and database. We will cover off the ETL step further in the course, and today we will talk about the database step. Data warehousing simply means storing the data in a relational database. However, the term data warehousing implies that this is not a transactional database, rather it is specifically designed to store data that will be analyzed and visualized to derive insights. So what is a relational database? And here, before we continue, I just wanted to quickly say that if you're already very comfortable with databases, then feel free to skip the rest of this tutorial. All right, so here you can see that there's an asterisk near relational. This is because there's also another type of databases, non-relational. However, to keep things simple, we won't talk about them right now. We will discuss non-relational databases in the introductory section of Hadoop later on in this course. A relational database, as the name suggests, is one where the relations between data within the database matters. In simplest terms, this means that data is stored in tables which have rows and columns, and the tables can be linked through common columns. Here you see an example of a relational database. Basically, a database is very similar to an Excel document, and tables in a database are just like tabs in the Excel spreadsheet. However, a database has numerous advantages over Excel. Let's have a look at some of them. Number one, integrity. Well, in Excel, every cell is separate and you can place anything you want into it, for example, date, a number, a text, and so on. In a database, columns have predefined types. And therefore, if your column is designed to contain numbers, it cannot contain a text or it cannot contain a date or any other type of information and vice versa. The second advantage is that combining data sets in a database is easy. That is how they are designed. As you will see further in this course, it is very natural to join tables, to create new tables and derive insights. On the other hand, in Excel, you would have to use tools like the VLOOKUP function, which is much more complicated and much less efficient. And a great plus of databases is that they are easily scalable. You can have five rows or five billion rows and it won't crash. Whereas Excel is much more limited in that sense and its performance becomes much slower as your data set grows. There are more advantages of databases which we won't go through at this stage. You will discover them as we progress through this course. And to sum up, databases are the next level up from Excel. Once you get a grip over databases, you won't want to use Excel anymore. By the way, here's the icon that represents databases on diagrams. Get used to it because you will be seeing it quite often. And to finish off today's tutorial, in this course, we'll be working with SQL databases. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. That is because to manipulate data in this type of database, you need to write queries. For example, this code was used to display the table you saw in the previous slide. But don't be worried, the SQL scripting language is very simple and you will see this from further tutorials in this course.